Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Hollow Tide here, and I just got through watching the first two episodes of the Halo television show season two, and my hot take, maybe not a hot take if the rest of you agree with me, is that it does not suck. Now, I've said it before multiple times, season one, I, I didn't even finish watching season one. I just, like, watched, like, the recaps on YouTube for, like, the last, like, three episodes because I was just that uninterested so before we get into like oh you're being a shell and you know you just you just want halo blah blah i don't know i don't know what your excuses might be for me liking season two so far but just know that i was not a fan of season one for probably a lot of the same reasons that you weren't a fan but before we get into the video i just want to say if you love halo content i could be your third favorite halo youtuber 90 some percent of you watch videos but don't subscribe to the channel i would love to hit 15,000 subscribers this year and i think that that's absolutely doable so again if you like halo content and if you enjoy this video agree with it disagree with it leave a like leave a dislike and let's continue now at the end of the video i will go over some spoily stuff so this first part is just going to be like generalization of my opinions of the TV show so far, season two, and then we'll get more into spoiler stuff, and I'll say spoiler alert. But yeah, I watched the first two episodes. I They've changed a lot of things to, I think, reflect more of what Halo is. We've talked at length about, you know, the showrunners and the approach they were taking. They wanted it to be more Halo, and I definitely think that they, they've done that. I think if you were not a fan of the first season, then you might want to check this one out. Even if you were a fan of season one, I think you should probably like season two more. So definitely check it out. Go watch it yourself, and then you can come back to this video and let me know your opinions. But let's start getting into the spoiler stuff. So this is a spoiler alert. They changed the music. It's more Halo at the beginning. You got the monks chanting and stuff. That's great. Also, I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video. I can't use, like, any of the, I guess, scenes and stuff like that because Paramount or whoever is running the YouTube side of things strikes all that stuff down. But yeah, the music, great. The first, like, 15, 20 minutes, uh, Chief has his helmet on for the whole 20 minutes. So I think that they, you know, took the criticism to heart. Now, that doesn't mean that the helmet stays on the entire time. And there are certain instances that it makes sense to not be in armor, especially for the story that they're telling. So I, for one, can respect that. It's definitely not, you know, a video game. This is a TV show. So I know that there are going to be complaints about it no matter what. But I definitely feel like the armor was on way more than season one. The action sequences are great, in my opinion. And they're well above what season one was. It definitely feels like Halo. Some of the cinematography, fantastic. They've shown some of the stuff in trailers. You know, like the Covenant ships coming out of the clouds and the fight scenes and stuff. It's just, I, I think that they did a lot better. That being said, there are some storylines or plot lines that have come back. And, you know, we didn't see Quan at all in the trailers. She is, in fact, back. I feel like her role is absolutely diminished. She does not get a lot of screen time. Now, how they incorporate that into the larger story, I'm not sure. And then the girl that Chief had relations with is back somehow. I thought she died. I thought she was shot. I don't know. Somehow Palpatine returned. So she's back. That's a major spoiler. So I they only show her for like three seconds and it's like, what is going on? So again, I don't, I don't, I assume that like these people have contracts or something and like they had to be like, oh, we have to figure out how to write her back in. I don't know. But that was like a wild thing. I wonder if it's completely different than what they were going to do, you know, prior to the new showrunners and stuff. It does feel more Halo dialogue, I feel. There's a lot of, like, quips and stuff like that. The way the Spartans interact with other members of the UNSC, I do feel like it's kind of like that army bro kind of, like, jeering and banter. So I think that that's a little bit better. Overall, you know, objectively looking at this and saying, I know this is not the Halo game, the TV show. This is a completely different universe. or It's a different story and stuff like that. Just trying to look at it from that point of view and judging from season one, which I would have probably given like a two to a three. So far, the season's like a solid seven to eight, in my opinion. There are definitely things that I hope they address, like the Quan and I think her name was Mackie, McKee, whatever her name was. I'm interested to see how they 
incorporate them into the plot and stuff. But yeah, I, I would I would put it at a solid seven. I don't want to definitely go out on a limb and be like, this is the greatest TV show of all time because, you know, I like Breaking Bad and things like that. I, I think that I really enjoy good TV. And with the Halo show, I feel like it can be good TV. I, I feel like they have the, the opportunity now. I think, you know, judging the rest of the season, we'll see what happens. You know, sometimes there's a lull in the middle episodes until you get to the climax of the end of the season and there's either like a huge cliffhanger or whatever. So that's my opinion and I would love to know yours. Please keep it civil down in the comments. Don't like attack actors and actresses and all that stuff. Just like give me your opinions in a adult manner and I think we'll be good to go. I read all of the comments so I look forward to reading yours. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you around the ring. Peace.